Right. Uh, we are solving for x and y. This is complex numbers. Um, and what we want to do in this case, um, so we want both sides, we want our left hand side, right, as well as the right hand side to be in rectangular form. That's the first thing we need to do, right? So rectangular form, uh, on the left hand side you want A plus BI, similarly on the right hand side you want A plus BI, okay? So our right hand side, that's already easy enough, we already have it in that form, so it's clear for us to see what is A, and what is B? So B is that invisible one that exists over there. So here, A obviously, A is our um, real component, right? And then I, I is our imaginary component. So you want to be able to see what's real, what's imaginary. Similarly on the left hand side. So right now, it's impossible for us to be able to see what's real, what's imaginary. So we need to do some work, okay? Um, so what we are gonna do, we're going to multiply out this, multiply everything out here on the left hand side, x is going to multiply with the 1, x is going to multiply with the i, y, i is going to multiply with the 1, y, i is going to multiply with the i, negative y, i at least, right? So you on the left hand side, you will have x, and you will have plus x, i, and then you will have minus y, i, and minus y, i squared. The right hand side doesn't change, I'll write it as, as the same. Plus, I'm going to put that 1 there, just so that we remember that that 1 is our imaginary component. <clears throat> Great. So, on the left-hand side, it is still uh, not in rectangular form. So, what we're going to do, we are going to, uh, let, let's first do this, right? So, we know that i is supposed to, well, i squared at least, is going to change and it's going to give us a minus 1. So, I'm not doing any math. Uh, I'm just going to put the x plus x i minus y i what i'm doing is just uh, substituting that my or i squared as minus one right inside i'm not going to rewrite it because it hasn't changed right uh, next we will have um this is going to simplify so i'm going to simplify this and then i'm going to write it next to the x so it's going to be x this is going to give me a positive x minus times a minus is positive y and then uh, these two stays the same plus x i minus y i my right hand side um i didn't change it i'm not gonna write it down yet <clears throat> so now i can clearly see what is my real component right this is the real component but my imaginary component there's two eyes so i can't see it yet so i'm gonna take uh, the i out as a common factor over here okay so x plus y that still stays the same uh, plus i'm gonna take out that i as a common factor however i just gonna i'm just want to write it uh after the bracket uh, because then it's going to be nicely in the form uh, bi so i'm putting the i at the back so it just looks similar to this so um, when we take out the common factor we divide each term with that factor right so this is going to divide with i what's going to be left simply the x this is going to divide with i what's going to be left simply the minus y my right hand side didn't change but i'm going to write it now so that i can compare my left and my right now it is easy for me to see that this is my real component, this is my real component, so they will have to equal to each other. It should be easy for me to see that this is my imaginary component, this is my imaginary component, so they will equal each other as well. Great. So now I'm going to have two equations created. That's going to be the x plus the y equals the minus 2, that's equation 1. And my second equation is going to be the x minus the y is equal to the positive 1. That is my second equation, right? What did I just do? I said my real component on my left-hand side has to equal to my real component on my right-hand side. Similarly, my imaginary component on my left-hand side has to equal to my imaginary component on my right-hand side. That gives me these two equations, and now we have to solve simultaneously. Now, uh, there is more than one method to do simultaneous equations. The one that I choose to always do is to make x or y the subject of the formula. So I'm going to follow that again, although for this one, uh, elimination is probably easier. But what's more common for us to make x, and, x or y the subject. So I'm going to make, uh, let's make y the subject over here. So I'm going to take this to that side. We know that that means we're actually subtracting 
x on both sides, both sides, so I'm going to have y is equal to minus 2 minus x. This is equation 3. So I used equation 1 to make equation 3, right? So I can't put 3 back into 1. So I'm going to put 3 into 2 because, I, well, let's put it like this. We're putting the new equation into the one that we haven't used yet. Great. Um, so now this one, this over here, which is our y, is going to take the place of that y. All right, so I'm going to say x minus y is equal to that one. What is the y value? It's minus two minus x. All right, this negative is gonna have to multiply in, so we will have x plus two plus x equals to one. Okay, those are like, so we'll add those x plus x is gonna be two x. Uh, this one over here, we're gonna subtract on both sides. So on my right hand side, I'll have one minus that two. We subtracted two on both sides. Okay, so what do we have? We have uh, 2x equals to the minus 1, divide both sides with my 2. So now I know that x is equal to negative a half. So now we'll go and put this one uh, back into equation 3 over there. We could put it into 1 or 2 or 3. 3 is going to be the most simple. So we will go with, uh, let's put it over here. Let's say that y is going to equal... Uh, to the minus 2 minus x, right? Uh, x is minus a half. Great. So this is minus 2, minus and minus is going to give us a plus a half. And that is going to, you can put that in the calculator. It's going to be minus 4 over 2 plus your half. Uh, which will equal to minus 3 over 2. That's your x value. And this is your y value. Okay, let's just go back to our original question. So what did you do? You wanted to have uh, your real and your imaginary component, real and your imaginary component. Once you have it in that form, then you can simply say real equals real, imaginary equals imaginary, and that you solve simultaneously. Great.